Good morning, guys. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. So, as part of Power BI course, we are offering all real-time assignments which came from the students only. Whenever you go for the interview, uh, the assignments are given. So, those I have collected, I'm just you know going to give you those assignments. You will not be able to understand a lot of them because it is not my data or it is not you know your data. So it is someone else data, they will be able to have the good clarity, but at least, you know, you will be able to understand what are those assignments and uh, how to write the assignments and how to tackle the assignments. So let me show you the assignments first. Let me uh, open uh, my Power BI assignments. So totally uh PBA assignments are up to 21 assignments are there, right? So recently one of my student posted this global, you know, superstore power BI challenge. So whenever the company gives you assignments, they will give you one requirement document. This is a requirement document. So let me maximize this. Uh, so visualization, year on year, you know, sales growth, they wanted to have it. And uh, this is the formula. All these are DAX formulas you need to write. Segment wise profit, revenue by product category, top five states in terms of sales, scan for other insights based on your understanding. So they have given you some visualizations to create and they're telling this is the formula that you need to write to get the year on year sales growth, current year value minus last year value divided by last year value into 100. So the formula, what measure you need to create, the measure formula also they are giving. But you need to understand this formula, create a measure and try to implement this measure in one of the visualizations. When the measure is ready, you can drag and drop this measure in the bar chart, column chart, pie chart somewhere. Right? And the customer retention rate, this metric tracks how many customers come back to your store for a second widget. Right? Retention rate formula is this. So this is how you should be able to perform your DAX function. They'll give you formula, simply drag and drop this and try to create this kind of things. Now, let us look at the data. Right? What kind of data they have given? This is a global superstore data. So they have row ID is there, order ID. So it is superstore, supermarket data. Order date, ship date, ship mode, customer ID, customer name, segment, city from which is visiting and buying the products, state, country, right? You have a postal code, market and a region. Lot of data. I don't know what is this market all about, right? So I don't know. So it is not my data, right? Even though it is not your data, you will not be able to understand many things. Region wise, product wise, category, subcategory, product name. What is the sales amount? This is a sales amount we're talking about. What is the quantity and what is the discount offered, profit, and what is the shipping cost, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of things are available, order priority. So a lot, lot of data is given. So this is supermarket data from US country. Total number of rows are some sick uh, 51,000 rows are available. So sample data is av available. The table name is called order stable. So you will be able to read this and try to implement this. So this is what is a requirement like that. So to, you know, perform these operations, perform these operations, you have to know not only Power Query, you need to know DAX, you need to understand basic understanding of visualizations, a lot of things you need to know, right? So that is what this is, you know, uh, interview question asked in the Infosys. So this is the, you know, Power BI assessment and this is the data. So many tables data they have given so they have given you this assignment assessment so what is the activity task number one kindly connect these data sets with the power bi so load all the transaction files okay load customer data right so in page one of the visualization create the card in a multi-row card visualization and display all these things task number four create a custom tooltip on any visualization which will depict the lost Top three products, you know, task number five, create a funnel chart using subcategory and profit 2017 data. You must use it. So task number six, create a, a view 
uh, below DAX. Convert customer's name to all caps. You need to write the DAX expression for this. Find out week name wise order date, Monday, Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. You need to create a DAX expression for that right find out the sales value from the existing data task number seven please create your own visualization from the data set provided and share the um, insights so this is the requirement document like that you will be able to get the data and requirement document will be given so all these are so hr analysis data so they would have given the you know core requirement somewhere here and uh, like insurance data also we have right so then we have uh, you know uh, oracle by invoice data then reports you will be able to create and submit so a lot of things are available act internet fiber right how many customers have taken uh you know uh, internet connectivities and you know uh, jd and the visualizations what all you need to do so they have clearly mentioned in the pdf document right so you need to understand this this is for the one of the company cloud computing azure a lot of things are available but we wanted to only do the data related to power bi like that you have large amount of data here you will be able to uh, see the data files master data primary sales data primary sales data you know 17 data 18 data and this is the requirement when you double click on this you will be able to get lot of requirements and study and understand first and if you're able to do if you're understanding you're able to do something and do it if you're not able to do ask me if i'm able to understand something i can also tell you so you take at least not everything you can do at least whatever you can do try to read them out and try to implement them or what you do so five people can take can you can become a group so you can take at least five and try to implement it so this is one thing other five people can take some more you know projects they can implement and you will be able to create nice ppt and try to implement so you, you can talk about your project talk about the understanding talk about you know whatever you have done it so this is the data and these are the requirements given and this is what we have created and this is what is the some more you know insights about this data you will be able to say something about it okay na? so i strongly recommend people can do that so april batch people can do that because all the subjects got over for them right so those people so can do these assignments okay so i will be uploading all the files into your uh, teachable portal you ask my team you ask my team if you if you need any video access you need to contact my uh this number 9398118506 they have given you this number right mr madhav so if you need any video access for anything you have to contact this number so 9398118506 you can, you can ask this guy sir i be supposed to get some assignments for free where are those assignments right so he will be able to upload but remember you have to do it so and submit for review right so i strongly recommend you should you cannot take everything because end of that you cannot perform take at least whatever you can implement take the basic ones we don't know which is the basic and which is advanced at least you know read a couple of things so you will be able to implement one by one and create a group and try to you know discuss in the group so this is the data they're talking about these are the requirements they're talking about and this is what i'm able to understand this is what i'm able to understand this is where i'm struggling when you say to your team member let the team member also try to understand the requirement so at least you can you know gather some you know knowledge between your group among your group and you can try to give the solutions if not at least i'll be there i can give you my solutions if i know about the date end of the day technically i may be sound remember technically i may be sound but i cannot be sound in the domain knowledge so this is this is not my data right if I go to Microsoft, if I go to, let us say, a Bank of America, so I cannot understand their data. Even though I'm an architect, I'm having 20 years of experience, until and unless 
if i understand that data i will not be able to give the proper solution so many times so technical knowledge is not sufficient for you to you know do any activity you need to ask a lot of questions so many people who get the jobs right they will be joining in the companies and they don't understand the data they'll have a fear to ask the questions if i ask they think that i am a fake guy so that is where these people think that sir job is very very difficult i am not able to understand you understand the technology but what you don't understand that domain why the tables have joined like that why the stored procedure is written like that why the what are the column names i need to understand what are the tables that they are using and what is the primary key so all of them you know what is a primary key you know what is a foreign key you know what is one to one what is one to m all these are technical things you know but what you understand how did they implement all this technology in their data you don't understand because it is not your data column names you don't understand table names you don't understand so what they are doing you don't understand clear so that is where domain knowledge is also is very very and you know important to understand the requirement okay so tomorrow i'll be talking about a project okay that is a call center project of my own company it is go online trainings right because whenever you inquire whenever you inquire any data our call center team is going to be receiving your data so they will ask you tell me what's your name my name is let us say john so i'm calling from us i want to enroll for bhaskar jogi's power bi class or i want to have data engineering course or i want to have python videos or i want to join in live class so people will be talking about all of them right so the data is going to be received in the call center so there is a call center executives are available in my company so i am talking about call center project so executive bpo right k bpo means b back processing unit so call center i am maintaining right so some people are working in my call center so these people are talking to you these people are calling talking to you all the data the call center people are storing in where since it is a small company i am storing all the data in excel sheet right so what kind of a data we have it how many sheets we have it and so it may be students data it may be your you know calling data it may be what are the courses we are offering and it may be what are the you know modes of the training we are offering either you can go for live training or you can go for the video training you can purchase the videos right and we will be having the sales table so which student which course and when did he pay and how much did he pay and what is the due amount right so we have a renewal data so lot of data we are going to be capturing how the data structure or how the data modeling because we cannot store the data as it is right this is a proper modeling i would have done but this is being captured in the excel sheets only clear so tomorrow i'll talk about the calls and the data of go online trainings.com i will give this data so you will be able to create lot of reports for the call center so i wanted to understand some insights about my call center you need to tell me sir these are the issues in your call center this is what is not happening this is what is happening so this is what is the problem so lot of things i will be able to identify right lot of issues the data can tell you so all these things we will be able to understand in tomorrow's class and uh, any project when somebody gives you somebody assigns you you need to understand because you know data you can create a visualization that is not the learning at all try to understand you need to implement your understanding in my data so you need to understand my domain knowledge what is a call center all about you need to know right so that is what is important tomorrow we'll talk about call center dashboard and call center report you can you know tell this in the interview so what is that the current project you can tell that i'm currently working with a call center data and uh, for one a educational institution right you can say byju's or you can say upgrad or you can say manipal university or, or you can say some company 
value for you know some oxford university data call center data we have it or there is a edureka some institution you can say right udumi call center data we have so we are able to create these many dashboard these are the issues we were able to find out in the data and we cleanse the data we apply this this many transformation we have done the data modeling and uh, we have uh, created a lot of dax formulas and these many reports we have created and these are the benefits uh, you know co- the institution itself got so when we when we were telling these are the you know co- data points and we when we tell the story then the company says that yes this is where the issues are in the company they are able to take the decisions clear so using our dashboard company took beautiful de- you know decisions and they are able to you know get very good performance of the executives of the call center right so all the minuses all the pluses you will be able to talk in the interview very very clearly because end of the day they don't ask you what kind of reports you have created they'll ask you what kind of insights you have got it and how you know these insights helped the you know organization to improve themselves what kind of decisions they took based on your reports now tell me one or two reports like that from your current project and tell me what kind of insights you have achieved it so all these people are going to be asking in the interviews clear so that will focus on in tomorrow's class chalo any other questions you have